it's John from 16 Bees, and today we're talking about this. So this is the Tagstar SGC598. So when you look up shotgun microphones on Amazon, this is the cheapest one that comes up in the first like 10 results or whatever. And it says it's Amazon's choice, but is it any good? Well, let's find out. The camera I'm recording on right now, as you can hear, the audio isn't great, and so I've been just recording on my iPhone and just syncing it up in post. But the problem is, with that is, it's just an extra step and it's really tedious and kind of annoying. So I picked up this microphone and we're gonna see how it is. So let's open it up. Padding, instructions. Oh! A little case. Cases are always nice to have. Here is the microphone, and then there's these little rubber bits. What you've been listening to for the first, I don't know, 50 seconds or whatever, is the audio on the camera. And so now we're going to start using the audio on this. Ready? Okay, so this is now the audio on the Tackstar numbers, I don't, I don't remember the name, SGC598 condenser microphone. As for the build quality, it's made out of mostly plastic, which you can kind of expect from a $20 microphone, you know, beggars can't be choosers, it's nothing great, but it's, it's solid, it feels good, but the actual microphone part, the part that's covered by the removable windshield, is actually made of aluminum, which I think is a really nice touch, it makes it feel much more solid and I really like that. The microphone itself takes one AA battery. On the instructions it says one battery is supposed to last a hundred hours, so I don't think you're really gonna have to be worrying about this dying on you at any point. Also on the back of the microphone there's a little light and when it turns on it'll be green, but if the battery ever gets low then it's gonna go red, which I think is really nice so it doesn't ever just die on you in the middle, you always know what's going on. Let's go over the three switches that are on the microphone. The first switch is a bass filter switch, which, according to the instructions, can reduce ambient noise. This is it with it off, and then this is with it on. The second switch is a sensitivity switch, which turns up the sensitivity of the microphone 10 decibels, which I think is kind of nice. And then the final switch is just on or off. Underneath the actual microphone, there is a shock mount with these these little replaceable rubber things. And they're supposed to reduce the mechanical noise of the camera and any other vibration noises which you can come across, which is nice, but I don't, again, don't really know how it works. And at least for me, it doesn't really matter to me at all because this camera's stationary, but I guess if you're a vlogger, this could help just reduce any extra jittering noise from you carrying around the camera or shaking it or anything like that. One thing I forgot to mention is this plugs in with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so on the rare chance you have a camera with a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, you're going to need an adapter, and I'll look on Amazon and find a cheap one, so you can find that in the description below. That's kind of the review. It seems to be a good microphone, fairly good quality. I mean, you can just tell most of this review has been shot with it attached to the camera, so you can kind of tell if this is the sound quality that you're looking for if you want to you know, buy something a little more expensive. I know some Rode mics are like $70, $80, and those are really, really good quality. But if this sounds good to you, I mean, there's only so much I can tell you. This is something that you just have to base off yourself. If you like this kind of stuff, like reviews like this, uh, photography tutorials, things like that, think about subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, totally fine, no hard feelings. Hit the like button if you so choose. This is John from 16 Views. See ya.